everybody's up at five o'clock. Mm. I am. I just think it's a good way to live. If I wake up at three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning. I get more done in that period of time than most of those guys are getting done. In I truly believe that once you start waking up at five a.m., your life will never be the same. By the time you're awake, I've done my cold shower, affirmations. I want you to think about. It. I just think it's a good way to live. I get more done in that period of time than most of those guys are getting done. In your life will never be the same. I want you to think about five o'clock. Five a.m. Five a.m. Five a.m. Five a.m. Five a.m. Five a.m. So I woke up at 5 a.m. every day for a week. Now you may be asking, Trey, why would you do this to yourself? Why would you put yourself through so much pain and torture for a video? Once you find out, let me know because babe, I have no idea. But I did it. I woke up at 5 a.m. every single day for a week. And in case you were wondering, this is me on day two, but there's so much more to the story that I have to tell you. So let's get into it. It all started at... The moment my alarm went off was the moment I regretted every decision I've ever made in my life up to this point. Normally when I wake up this early, all I need is to get out of bed and then I'm good to go. However, this time was different. It was harder. And that was because last night, I made a mistake. The time is currently 1.18 a.m. and I'm just now starting to cook. Dinner at 1 a.m.? I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like a fun night to me. Come on, make some noise. Somebody, anybody, everybody scream. No. No, it's great. Okay, you guys, bad news. The time is currently 2.05 a.m. I still haven't eaten dinner. You wanna know why I haven't eaten? Well, instead of cooking, I decided to play Valorant. I did, I did. I don't even like that game. I hate it. I hate the game so much. I can't eat right now. It's too late. Because if I cook, that's gonna take 30 minutes. If I eat, that's gonna take 40. And then I have to unwind for the night. I'm not going to go to sleep. So, this is for dinner tonight. <laughs> Yum. I'm gonna eat this and go to bed. This is crazy. This is crazy. And crazy it was indeed, because I definitely was feeling it all morning. There's like a weirdness happening in my throat. It feels like a fire ant is barfing everywhere. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not getting coffee right now. According to science, um, according to a TikTok that I saw, you're not supposed to drink coffee first thing in the morning. I can't do this. Shut up. Why are you awake right now? I can't do this. Even at 5 a.m., it's freaking loud. Oh my gosh, this is too much. What if I just like napped right here? Would you be mad? No, no, I'm up. It's no, I'm up. No, I'm just like I'm. I'm up. I'm just resting my eyes. Okay, let's go. That was by far one of the hardest moments I've ever had in my entire life. At this point, I felt like a shell of myself. I felt like I wasn't a human anymore. I felt like AI, and that right there, that needed to change. So I did what any sane person would do in the moment. I need to splash my water with some face. What? No, like that did not just happen. I need to splash my. I, okay. As you can see, it was starting to get a little scary up here. So I decided that in order to continue going, I need to do some self-care. I'm gonna do some meditation because that's a good thing that I've been doing recently. <laughs> no, could you imagine? I am a thousand percent convinced that if I never took that moment to meditate, everyone on this planet would know and I would make sure of it. I would turn into the villain and no one would be safe. I would have metamorphosized into Thanos, but instead of snapping, I would have screamed. <laughs> Uh, not gonna lie, fully thought I was gonna fall asleep. <laughs> fully thought I was gonna fall asleep. I didn't do it, you guys. I didn't fall asleep. I'm proud of myself. I am. Oh my gosh, wait, let me text my parents. My mom's gonna be like, why are you awake right now? And I'm gonna be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I simply can't do anything with my life until I've had my morning coffee, I literally sat in bed and waited and waited and waited until the clock turned six. And after some time, it finally did. You guys, it's 6 a.m. and I've never been happier. <laughs> I have my coffee. The sun is starting to come up, you guys. I feel great. I'm a little scared because I'm definitely gonna need at least four more coffees today, and I only have this much milk left, so. I know what you're thinking. Trey, just go to the store. I can't because all the stores are closed today. Every last store is freaking closed because it's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wait, oh my gosh, Target's open at 8 a.m. You guys, look at God. At this point, I was starting to feel a little bit more awake, but my body just felt weird. I can't really put into exact words how I felt in the moment, but I can show you. Basically, my body felt like this. It just, it's this. I was not okay. And after doing my skincare and getting some work done, I decided that I needed to leave the house. So Target's not open today. Apparently there are these things called holiday hours. I don't know, I've never heard of it. it sounds absolutely absurd to me, I don't know. I found another place. What am I gonna wear? Let's do, let's, let's, I'm not wearing anything. I'm butt naked. <laughs> no, could you imagine? That'd be crazy. I can't make up my mind though. I don't have the decision skills right now. About 30 minutes later, I was finally able to come up with an outfit. This is the most basic thing I've ever worn and I've decided that that's not a bad thing. I don't even know if the store is actually open or not. I don't, I, I don't read. We'll find out when we get there. Okay, let's go. I cannot even begin to explain how unhappy I was in that store. The air felt heavy. We got her. As soon as I got back home, I did some editing. I almost fell asleep and ended up playing some Minecraft to try to keep myself awake. He, he's waving at you. Sit. 
Say hey to my character, please. Don't be rude. Thank you. I want to blame most of my tiredness on the fact that I only got three hours of sleep, if that. But I also know that just like, I'm not used to this. I think that my body is just like, dude, what are you doing? And honestly, I don't, I, I can't answer that, babe. I, mean, I, I still have my jacket on. I don't like this. I'm not happy. I'm just not. The rest of the day was pretty chill. I made my fifth matcha of the day. <laughs> did some planning slash writing for an upcoming video. Ate lunch, watched TV, did the wordle. Cooked dinner and ate. It was freaking delicious. And then ended the night off by ranting to the camera for a little bit because I absolutely needed to get some anger out of my system. I want this day to end so badly. It's not even funny. I can't even form words right now. What is this funny? What is that? Yeah, this is good night. I'm done. I'm not turning this camera on until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I will see you then. Peace. As you can see, I was an absolute mess this morning. It's not even 5 a.m. anymore. It's freaking 5.30. I just sat here for 30 minutes just like going in and out of sleep and in and out of sleep and in and out of sleep. I made a oopsie. I made a oopsie boo boo. I went to sleep late again. How late? 2 a.m. Two days in a row, I'm only getting a couple of hours of sleep. I'm... I oh, don't know. Hold on. I just need to like, you know what I'm saying? Just give me a second. Just let me like, just, I need to slap myself. <laughs> Didn't help. Didn't help not one bit. Hey, 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 get up. That wasn't English. All right, um, okay. Day two wasn't really very eventful, so we're just gonna speed run this. Here's everything I did day two. I woke up, stared into the abyss for a bit, immediately got to work on editing. I made a cup of coffees, laid in bed, regretted my life choices, did some more editing, and then went to sleep. <laughs> I can explain. So on day one, I set 15 alarms. I, I, I did. But when I woke up that morning, I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna turn on the one alarm and be good because I can get up. There's one thing about me, I can get up. So I turned off all of my extra alarms, my safety net. I did it, I got rid of it. Day two, yesterday, I spent 30 minutes going in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep because I turned off those extra alarms that would have helped me wake up. Day three, I woke up at five, was asleep by maybe 5.01, and then I woke up at 11. I'm not proud of this. I, 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 I it, uh, what do you want me to say? Like, I feel like we need to regroup a little bit. Maybe I need to do something different. Maybe instead of going to sleep at 2 a.m., I need to go to sleep earlier. Oh my gosh, if I'm waking up earlier, then maybe going to sleep earlier will help with, I don't know, me feeling tired. Like, duh. Like, like, duh. Technically, I did still wake up at 5 a.m. I just went right back to sleep. So I wouldn't say I failed this challenge. I'd say we're still in the clear because I did wake up at 5 a.m. I just didn't stay up. So we'll try again tomorrow. Well, we will, we will. And I'll also set those extra alarms just in case. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. Or like, whatever Beyonce said. Did she ever say that? I don't freaking know. Doesn't matter. In my mind, she said it, so she did. All right, let's get this day started. Even though this day started off absolutely horribly, I didn't want it to end like that, so I really tried to make sure that I got a lot of stuff done. I did more editing. I swear, all I do is edit. Like, <laughs> all I freaking do is edit. I made a bunch of matchas because, duh. Did some cleaning, went to the store, watched an episode of TV while I ate dinner, played some Minecraft, and managed to get ready for bed at a pretty decent time. Well... Sort of kind of. The time is currently 11.45. I just finished dinner. I was supposed to go to bed earlier tonight, and technically I am. Because every other night, I've pretty much been going to sleep at 2. <laughs> and tonight, I'm about to go to sleep, and it's like, you know, 12. So, so you know, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit... <laughs> this isn't okay. This isn't good. Oh my gosh. Day one and two, I literally felt sick. My body was not... Right. Today I felt pretty good. And I think that's only because I ended up getting a lot more sleep because I fell back to sleep after waking up. To summarize how I feel about this experiment so far, I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I really am, but I'm not happy. I'm miserable. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I feel sick. I feel like I'm falling off the bone, but we got a couple more days left. Who knows what'll happen? I guess we'll have to see. <sighs> Day four freaking sucked. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. It should be getting easier to wake up, but it's not. It's getting harder every single time. I'm like, can I, okay. So I woke up at five and then 5.05 and then 5.10 and then 5.15 and then 5.20 all the way up until six o'clock. I don't know why, I just can't get up. I just can't do it. Maybe I have to do that thing where I put my phone across the room, but I'm just not doing that. I don't care enough. One of the things that I see a lot of people do with these, Hold on, one second. One thing that I see a lot of these people do in these morning routines is like take a shower, but they do cold showers. I'm not doing that. Don't piss me off. It's Sorry, I'm sorry. I, that just made me mad. I'm not doing that. But maybe I just take like a normal shower because I've been taking night showers. Because that's what I normally do. But when I was in school and I had early classes, I used to take morning showers to help myself wake up. And I think that might be a necessity right now. Yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower. And hopefully I'm a little bit more awake because this is not okay.
I will say that morning shower definitely gave me a slight boost of energy or at least enough energy to make a coffee and get some work done. But I'm not gonna lie, at this point, I was starting to feel slightly manic. The time is currently three something p.m. I don't know when, honestly, I don't care. You guys, I'm tired, I'm over it. Exhausted doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of how I feel right now. I don't even think there's a word in the English language that can even come close to describing how I feel right now. Maybe a sound, and that sound goes something like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to nap so bad, but I'm really trying to not nap. Why? I don't freaking know. It's just like not worth it, man. This entire thing just like feels so, it's just torture. Yeah, I'm gonna nap. I can't do it. I'm, I, listen, I tried to be strong. I tried to fight, but I'm over it. I'm done. I'm throwing in the towel, waving my white flag. I'm out of here. Good night, you guys. I'll see you when I wake up. I originally planned to nap for a good hour, maybe two. I napped for seven hours. I nap for seven hours. All right, you guys, I'm about to go to sleep. I know that in the last clip that I showed, I was going to sleep, but uh, I'm doing it again. I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow is the last day of this thing, this torture, this painful, painful wow. journey. And I'm so excited for it to be done. Tomorrow is going to be the most busy day yet. I have a lot of stuff planned. And if I get it all done tomorrow, then maybe this was worth it. I highly doubt it though, but I have an open mind. With that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to not go back to sleep after I wake up. And that's all I have to say. Good night. It just doesn't get easier. This was by far the hardest morning of this entire experiment. I just like don't want to do anything. Like I have so much that I need to be doing right now, but I just don't want to do it because I'm too tired to. Actually, no, it's the last day. We got to finish strong. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And I started like crap. I'm not ending like crap. Now that that motivational moment is out of the way, if I turned off this camera and went to sleep, no one would know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Today, I have decided, because I'm crazy, to clean my entire apartment. I have a suitcase on the floor that's been there since I got back from visiting home, which was a week ago. I also want to make a TikTok. <laughs> Okay. There's also this recipe that I've been seeing on TikTok that I really want to make. I don't think I'll be able to get to that, but who knows, right? That's the big day I have planned. Basically just a bunch of chores. <laughs> I need to like figure out a way to stop yawning. Oh my gosh. I'm still gonna try not to drink coffee until maybe six, but I know that I can't do anything until I have my coffee. So I will be sitting down and laying in bed. Sounds like a plan to me. Six o'clock comes around and I do my morning routine. I will say the amount of coffee that I've had throughout this entire experiment is slightly concerning. It was at least like three coffees a day. And then on top of that, I had at least four matchas. Every single day. <laughs> I don't know how I'm here. Anyway, today was a very, very productive day. Maybe the most productive day out of all of the days. Fill to the brim. I'm literally the most productive YouTuber out there. Even though I was being super productive and getting a lot done, I, I, I just felt horrible. The entire time, I, I felt like I was running on 2% energy. If that, maybe even 0.2. It was terrible. All right, you guys, I just finished up editing. It's about 2.42 p.m. It's time for lunch. I also am going over a friend's house tonight. We're gonna have a little fun little editing session together. So I don't think that I'm gonna make that recipe that I found on TikTok. I was really looking forward to that. So we'll have to do that another day. Today has actually been a really good day so far, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little tired. I think it's because I haven't really eaten a lot today, but I am very exhausted. All right, with that being said, I'll catch you guys later. And then I fell asleep. When I woke up, it was time to go to my friend's house. He was the cutest cat ever. I mean, look at it, look at it. But we did some editing and ate dinner and then I went to sleep, which means that this experiment is officially over. Uh, yeah. No, like you don't understand. Oh my gosh. It's over, it's done. We can celebrate now. Hallelujah. Um, I actually hated every second of this. To be fair, I definitely did get a frick ton of work done, but was it worth it for me? No. I mean, yeah, I was totally productive, but I literally had to force myself to do anything that I wanted to do. And if I didn't force myself, it wasn't happening. Just not worth it to me. However, I can totally understand and see why waking up at 5 a.m. every day is popular. And this is specifically for those who like choose to wake up at this time and not those who have to wake up this time for like work and school and stuff like that. Obviously, if you don't have the choice and you kind of have to do it, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about specifically choosing to because you want to. I can see why that is popular because you do get those few extra hours in the beginning of the day completely to yourself. And you have all of those hours to get as much done as you want. But for me, I personally, personally would much rather have those extra hours at the end of the day rather than the beginning. I'm a night owl, what can I say? In conclusion, I... <laughs> in conclusion, what is this that I say? Um, in, in conclusion? <laughs>
Um, actually, I conclude to this conclusion of the conclusion of the end of this conclusion of conclusion. Like, shut up. But seriously, though, my final thoughts are that this sucked balls. <laughs> this freaking sucked balls. I do, however, think that it is unfair for me to say that the 5 a.m. stands are wrong. Because, I mean, let's face it, we're all different, right? And we all find things that work for us. This didn't work for me. And that's okay. Will I ever do this again? No. At least not willingly. But you know what they say. Never say never. Or like, whatever Justin Bieber said. I don't really got anything else to say, so enjoy me jumping on my bed because it's the only thing that I can think to do right now. Okay, actually, let me stop before I get a freaking noise complaint. Okay, goodbye.